Most of us teach our children honesty is the best policy, but at one Virginia Beach middle school, some say it's when you tell the truth that matters. A sixth grader is facing expulsion after taking a razor from a classmate she says was using it to hurt himself. She thought she was doing the right thing. So was the school's zero tolerance policy taken too far? That's exactly the question 10 of your side's Andy Fox is asking tonight. Andy, what did you find out? Nicole and Tom, the school's own details of the event state Adriana reported the student had a razor blade. She admitted taking it from the student, it reads, then threw the blade away. So why should Adriana be suspended at all? Last Thursday here at Bayside Middle School, sixth grader Adriana Harris came to the aid of a classmate who was cutting his arm, Adriana's mother, Rachel Harris. There was not a teacher in sight while this boy is cutting himself. She felt like it was almost a 911 situation that she had to help immediately, like there wasn't time to find a teacher. Adriana took the razor-like blade away, convincing the student what he was doing was wrong. You had the razor in your hand, and then what did you do with it? I threw it away immediately. So you never had it carried around school or anything like that? No. And you never used the razor towards anyone else? No. So Adriana's friend is cutting his arm. What is he using? Some big old razor blade? No, something really small, just like that. Instead of getting praise from the school administration, Adriana got a 10-day suspension with a recommendation for expulsion. So when you got suspended, were you surprised by that? Yeah. Do you think they're wrong? Yes. Why do you think they're wrong? Because I was just trying to help. I didn't really like, like flash it or wave it at anyone. I took it and I threw it away. I asked Adriana if you had the chance to do it all over again, knowing you would be suspended for holding the blade, would you still help your classmate? Even if I did get in trouble, uh, it didn't matter because as long as I'm helping him, I'd be okay. So in hindsight, you'd do it all over again, even though you'd get suspended? Most frustrating to the Harrises, they feel like they were ignored. No calls returned from the school system, and that's when they called 10 on your side. I'm doing a story on the suspension. We started working the phones. We went to Bayside Middle, and we got through to Virginia Beach City Public Schools, who in turn got back in touch with the Harrises. It's amazing. Is How this fast. 10 on your side at yes, work? Is it they're you. listening yes, now? Yes, they're listening now. Do you think that they ought to let her come back to school I immediately think, and get her back in class yes, tomorrow? Tomorrow she should be back in school. That would be fair. Well, tonight we're pleased to report Virginia Beach City Public Schools has agreed to do something that makes the Harrises really happy. Considering the facts in this case, Adriana's suspension hearing that was supposed to be in 10 days to consider expulsion has been moved up to tomorrow. The Harris's hope after that hearing where everything is explained again that Adriana will finally be allowed back to class on Friday and at the latest on Monday. Tonight that's what the Harris's are hoping for. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.